Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more number program that is an atomorphic number. So first let us see what is an atomorphic number and then we'll go to the logic and then we'll implement in Python. Atomorphic number. So when we call it as an atomorphic number. So if, if the square of number ends with given number then we can call it as atomorphic number so let us take an example so that uh, you will be understanding so example one so let us take n is equal to some five so what is the square here n double uh, i mean n power n into n which is a square right it's a 25 so here ends with ends with 5 which is equal to n right so then we can simply say 5 is atomorphic atomorphic number similarly let us take one one more example example 2 so now you can simply uh, take n is equal to some 25 so n into n that is a square is equal to 625 so it also ends with 25 which is equal to n that implies we can say 25 is automorphic number right so this is how we have to find whether the given number is automorphic or not now we'll see the logic and then we'll implement that So we know that uh, if you want to get the individual digits, we have to use a mod operator, right? Let us take an example here. Some n is equal to 25 and square, some square is equal to n into n, which is 625. Now what we have to do? We have to find it is ends with a n or not. So if you use a mod operator, some as a r is equal to square mod 10, we will get individual digits 5 right so if it doesn't this is a first iteration right this is a first iteration if it doesn't ends with so we need to compare we need to compare this r value with r value with n if that doesn't matches in the second iteration so this is a first iteration this is a first iteration so in the first iteration we will get only single digit so it may be a double digit so then we have to update this one right then in the second iteration in the second iteration what we have to do we have to mod the square with 100 so that we will get the two digit number two digit number so you can observe in this example 625 mod 100 which is nothing but 25 so we'll get a last two digits so let us consider one variable let us consider one variable as a 10 in the first iteration just go with the thing square mod t in the second iteration simply update the t value so that means if the r is not equal to n simply go with the next iteration by updating the t with 10 multiplying t with 10 so if you apply like this we will get the digits okay individual digits so in the first iteration we will get a single digit in the second iteration we will get two digits and in the third iteration we will get three digits right so let's let, let us implement the same thing hope you understood this one so we have to find the digits and we have to compare with n if it is success we can simply display uh, the number is uh, automorphic and if it if not we have to update the denominator in the mod operation and then again we have to repeat the same process until the n value greater than 0 i mean uh, not not greater than 0 okay n value not greater than 0 now i will show you the implementation so that uh, you will be understanding more so first let us take the n value n is equal to input enter 
number and after that what we have to do we have to place the n value in one more number in order to check that one so i will take some x is equal to n and then find out the square so square is equal to sq is equal to n into n or simply you can go use a exponential operator n double star 2 and also for the denominator let us take t is equal to 10 and uh, if you want to get a two digit number we have to update the t value by multiplying with 10 so repeat the process until n greater than 0 and simply find out the remainder first with 10 and check the remainder with a value r is equal to so we have to check the square mod t square mod t and if if r is equal to is equal to x r is equal to is equal to x so simply change the flag as 1 and break because the number ends with the particular number right if not if not update the i mean reduce the number of digits n is equal to n mod 10 and update the t value for the next iteration t is equal to t into 10 so that in this next iteration we will get a two digit number right in the first iteration we are getting only one digit number in the second iteration we are getting two digit number now repeat the process until n greater than 0 and finally you can check if the flag is equal to 1 so we can say that n sorry p is sorry sorry not a p x so we have stored the n value in x right so x is atomorphic atomorphic number if the false condition in the false condition simply you can also print x is not atomorphic atomorphic number so so here we are using the flag so here we'll declare the flag as zero right now you can execute this one oh, sorry yes so this is a assignment operator we have to use a compare to operator so i will go with the 25 so 25 is an auto automorphic number because 25 ends with the 25 okay so here you can also print print x as well as simply we will go with the number is x and square of number is what is this one sq right so execute if you go with the 25 so number is 25 and square of number is 625 so the square of number ends with 25 so we got 25 is a automorphic and if you go with the 4 so 4 is not automorphic because the, use the same thing here so then you will be knowing why we are not why the number is not atomorphic so number is 4 and the square of a number is 16 so this number doesn't end with the given number so that's why 4 is not a atomorphic number once once again 5 so number is a 5 and a square of a number is a 25 so 25 ends with a 5 so that's why 5 is a atomorphic number so what we have done first we have uh, taken the input from the keyboard we have saved it in n and we are assigning one more variable and to that variable we are assigning the n value we are finding the square and we are assigning t value as 10 because to find the single digit double digit third, triple digit and so on for every iteration and we have to iterate until the n greater than 0 that means until the uh, n reaches to 0 so r is equal to r means a reminder so we know that we will get the reminder by using the mod operator reminder is equal to square root sq mod t where initially t is 10 so we'll get a single digit so we are comparing that particular single digit with x 
okay x x in the x we are holding the n value so if it is true simply we are initializing the flag to one and we are just to break the statement because we required that the number is end of the square of a number so if not so reduce the number of digits and update the t value with 10 multiplying with 10 because in the next iteration if you apply the mod operator with a hundred we will get a two digit number two digit number so we can compare the two digit number with x if not three digit number with x if not four digit with the number with x so we have to uh, repeat the pro the same process until the n greater than zero so finally we based upon the flag value we are deciding that the, whether the number is atomorphic or not right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, atomorphic number feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching Thank you very much.